everyone and welcome back to the math puzzle crash course we have a, a simple mixed operations problem here um, it's a simple equation it's 3 plus 3 times 3 minus 3 equals what um, so if we can simplify this um, you if you want to at this point you can pause the video uh, and we'll come back and work through it or if uh, you know, you might see this in your head. You may already have the answer, but um, we can go ahead and pause if you want to work this out and you're not sure, and we'll come right back. All right, first of all, multiplication has precedence over addition and subtraction. Um, addition and subtraction have equal precedence. Just remember that subtraction is just the addition of a negative number. Uh, multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. So um, you, that's why we have to solve the multiplication first. Um, because 3 times 3 is the same as 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 times 3 is the same thing as adding 3 three times. So that's why we have to take care of that first. Uh, it's just shorthand, 3 times 3. So you don't go, you can't take 3 plus 3 times 3 and then minus 3 uh, in this problem. That would be incorrect. So uh, what you do here is, first of all, we do the multiplication. 3 times 3 is 9. Then 3 plus 9 is 12. 12 minus 3 equals 9. Uh, so the answer here is 9. Uh, it's a very, uh, very, very simple problem. We uh, never solve left to right. I know I see that quite often. Uh, where some people uh, forget the order of operations, which has really been taught to everybody wherever you are in the world. Um, it's it's common. So uh, it's not like reading a sentence. This is mathematics. So you have to pay attention uh, to the order of operations and not just simply go left or right uh, and ignore that. So, uh, I mean, you could also type this in a cell phone calculator, scientific calculator, and you're going to get the correct answer of 9. Uh, just be careful with some uh, inexpensive dollar store calculators that cannot process multiple operations. And also be wary of uh, Microsoft Windows. The standard calculator uh, on, on there uh, works in immediate execution mode, so it also does not solve um, and get the answer of 9 because it's not capable of uh, handling multiple operations. You need to switch that over to scientific mode. Uh, and then it will uh, be able to process multiple operations. Um, it's one of the things I really don't like uh, about that calculator in uh, Microsoft Windows, and they don't really explain that. Um, a lot of people just sit down and they get they'll get a wrong answer. They'll say they'll get like 15 for the answer, and uh, and then they say, well, look, the calculator told me it's 15, uh, but what they fail to understand is that that Windows PC, the standard mode calculator, works in immediate execution mode. Uh, and they also don't understand the fact that a lot of these dollar store calculators, they don't have what's known as a um, internal stack chain. They don't have the memory to process multiple operations. And the way that used to be handled in the old days with calculators, simple calculators, it was just assumed that you already knew the order of operations. Uh, it was also assumed that you knew how to use the memory store and recall functions uh, of a calculator and uh, and you knew what to process first. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people do forget that um, over the years, I think, uh, the order of operations. But uh, anyway, the answer is nine. I uh, hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, please check out some of the other videos and I look forward to seeing everybody uh, in the next one. Thank you.